Dinwiddie man intimate with flying saucers. June 23, 1952. R.A. Marshall Jr. was a former electrical and mechanical engineer who had established an outpost on his Dinwiddie County farm where he could observe and experiment with flying saucers. Marshall claimed he saw his first flying saucer in 1926 before anybody else was really concerned about them and he had been preoccupied with them ever since. According to Marshall he had seen three objects that definitely were flying saucers. At 45 years old, Marshall decided to give his undivided attention to sky watching. Marshall never went anywhere without a camera and in his machine shop he built models from his own sketches of flying saucers. Henrico County Incident May 19, 1967 In May 1967, Beverly Bustles and her brother Bruce, students at Tuckahoe Junior High School, saw something very unusual one night while looking out the window of their Henrico County home. According to the youth, what they saw was an aluminum-colored apparition right out of a science fiction movie. It was complete with lights and sounds. Beverly and Bruce's mother said she heard a sound, it was a whine, like a generator or a turbine. It would start at a real low pitch, then increase in intensity and tone level until it ran out of audible range. Then all of a sudden it would start over again, low, just like that, she said. While her children called for her to come see the unidentified object, Mrs. Bustles did not make it to the window in time. Mimi, the Bustles dog approached the object and barked at it wildly. A dog across the street joined in. After making a lot of noise, the object rose into the sky and sped away. Mrs. Bustles called neighbors to ask them if they had seen or heard anything but all of them had been watching television or were otherwise engaged and did not see or hear the object. In all, the Bustles estimated they saw the object for 15 to 30 seconds, but heard the sounds for several minutes before. The family consented to tell their story after the National Investigations Committee on Aerial Phenomena, NICAP, learned of the incident and called the news leader. Don Berliner, an aviation writer and NACAP official, said that many recent UFO reports described an object hovering low over the roadway and unusual sounds many of them whining noises, like turbines. South Hill Incident June 22, 1967 Lunenburg County residents began digging through their closets for binoculars after a UFO in nearby South Hill on April 21 left a scorched spot and four depressions in a paved road. The Air Force later classified the sighting as unidentified. Since then 17 persons have told a Times Dispatch reporter they have sighted something. Most of these described an object first seen at treetop level that gives off a bright orange glow and becomes more intense when it moves at speeds like lightning. Mrs. Juanita Stokes is most baffled by the nine horseshoe-shaped tracks that appeared after her sighting last Friday.